cosplay world. Do you have a floating prop? Is it of a, well, more than substantial size? Well, today we're gonna talk about tackling those projects. We're gonna be combining, in this case, but obviously not every case, a bit of acrylic sheeting with XPS foam, extruded polystyrene, insulation foam. So, obviously, the advantage of acrylics is it pulls off those really cool floating effects um, and is awesome. But the disadvantage is that it's kind of a finicky and uh, easily cracked material, so it can't bear a lot of weight. And this is where the XPS foam comes into play. It's extremely light, and you can sculpt with it or use layers in the same way that you would do with craft foam or your plastics. Uh, I hear you see I'm working with the center bulk being the two inch thick uh, insulation foam, but then going in with the details uh, with quarter inch uh, slices or sheets of this foam as well. And so, once I've got it all glued together, the whole thing weighs like half a pound. Uh, most of that is actually the support piece for the original plan uh, which I took out because that changed. But um, with this you need to be careful not to use acidic glues. The glues you typically use for acrylics will totally destroy this. So either stick to your basic school glues that don't da damage anything or silicone caulk is effective here. In fact it adds a bit of a bounce, a bit of a cushion uh, so that when it does take shock, or hopefully it doesn't take shock, uh, it can bounce back and it will have a bit of give before it actually applies too much pressure to the acrylic. I hope this helps you. Good times to all. Hurrah! Listen, I got cosplay tutorials, con coverage, and general cosplay fun. Why don't you stick around a bit?